Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to a brief discussion on using the YDS150 as a really useful practice tool if you come from an acoustic saxophone background. Yamaha simulate the scale of their fine digital pianos, their electric pianos, with the scale on this saxophone. Now on an acoustic saxophone, there is no such thing as a perfectly in tune saxophone. The acoustic instrument has to make compromises just because of the, the physics of that tube as the, the different holes are opening and closing. In fact, part of the character of the acoustic saxophone is the fact that it's not perfectly in tune. So for the first time as a saxophonist, we can get to hear quote unquote correct intonation on a saxophone from this digital saxophone because even though it's one of the shortcomings of the current version of the YDS-150 in my opinion that is there's no pressure sensitivity on the mouthpiece on a conventional saxophone pitch bend occurs by how tight or loose our embouchure surrounds the mouthpiece and the reed and in particular the movement of our jaw relaxing and then retightening creates the, the pitch bend that we call vibrato. The YDS has an electronic simulated vibrato which is not particularly good but if you're a flute player like me you can use the flute vibrato technique that's the diaphragm the air pulsing vibrato that we use on the flute. We can also use that on the YDS-150. So if you have one of these and you're struggling to get an authentic vibrato, think of how flute players produce vibrato. And I do have some tutorials on vibrato for the flute if you don't understand how flute players do produce their vibrato. I'll just finish now by putting up a music score. What I did earlier today was just record in four part harmony a C major scale, in this case I had it set to the baritone sax emulation sound, but I just played a C major scale in thirds in four part harmony on the YDS-150. And you get to hear, as I said, Yamaha's preset intonation in the same way that they preset the intonation on their electronic keyboards. It can be a bit of a ear opener for you and I recommend if you play any instrument that you should multi-track a major scale in four part harmony played in thirds. So on the screen I'll just put up, I've, I've written sax four to sax one and I've, I've written them in the order that I actually recorded. I started with the lowest notes first and then I went progressively higher. What you hear is rotating major sevenths, minor sevenths, minor seventh flat fives and dominant seventh chords as the four saxes weave their way through the seven unique chords of a harmonized scale. It's an interesting exercise, it's a very valuable exercise as a musician and the YDS-150 lets us hear probably more correct intonation than most of us will get when we first try to record this exercise on our acoustic saxophones. Have a listen now. Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes. I really hope you enjoyed today's music instruction video. If you did, then you've joined the millions of viewers who have benefited from content on my free music education YouTube channel. Can I ask you to consider two things, please? If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. That way, you'll be updated every time new content is made available. 
Secondly, if you are in a position to do so, please consider making a donation towards the ongoing costs of producing these videos. It's safe and easy to do so. It's done via PayPal. There's a make a donation link on the home page of this channel under Home About. And there's also a donation link in the text for every video. Rest assured that any and all monies received will be reinvested in making this channel the best, most informative, content-rich music education channel of its kind anywhere on the internet. Thank you and bye for now.